Oh, hey, hi. I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just in the middle of a water balloon fight, and I'm going over today's science file. And today's science file says... Can you put a lit match under a balloon? Well, that's an excellent question. You definitely want to try this. You will need a balloon, a match, and most definitely an adult. Okay, head to your kitchen and bring with you a balloon. Ow! And the most important thing, an adult. Because we are going to be dealing with matches and not candy canes. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, alright. Take your balloon and blow it up. Now you want to tie it off. Ha <laughs> ha, I got it! You know what? I tied this one earlier. I did it. I didn't get anybody else to do it. Okay, set the balloon aside and get that adult to get a match and have them strike the match. Now you take the balloon you just blew up and put it over the match and watch what happens. Ha <laughs> ha, that was so cool! Yes! Oh, I guess you can't put a match under a balloon and it doesn't blow up. Oh well. Okay, you know what? I know what went wrong. Take this balloon and you're gonna fill it with water. Okay, you're gonna take this balloon. Oh! Now, hold the match underneath the water balloon. Whoa! Whoa! Now, how come before the balloon exploded? And now it's not! Well, don't take a look at me! Take a closer look at this! The principle that is going on here is called heat conduction. Heat conduction happens when two solids come in contact with each other. One solid transfers its heat into the other. The match sends the heat into the balloon. The balloon of air explodes because the rubber burns up and the air rushes out. The balloon full of water doesn't burn the rubber enough because the match's heat is transferred into the water. We know this is true because if we burn a different section of the balloon without water, it bursts. So now you know more about heat conduction. You know, lighting a match under a... Water balloon is why science is so cool.